Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I'm taking you on a little tour of the main living area and my craft room of how I have down here set up for autumn. And I purged my craft space and I have had questions about that. So let's get started. First and foremost, here's Alex. Hi Alex. And this is his little burrito he loves to sleep in my shoes and Wellington. Dubby, buddy, he's ignoring me. He wants outside, but he's not going out. I know. All right, so we got them out of the way. So here's my living room. It's not fully decorated yet. It really won't be until after Halloween, full on like Thanksgiving, but this is my autumnal take on it. All right, so we'll start in this corner here. We have my chair, well, my knitting, and a cat scratcher. I like to put that next to my chair so they'll hopefully scratch that and not my chair. My ottoman is covered for the same reason. They try to scratch on it. And this is a cross-stitch project that I've been working on. Almost finished. And then over here we have the boys' toys and Luna when she comes. My end table. This is a magnifying lamp that I use for cross stitch. And my Dollar Tree shelves are pretty minimal right now. I haven't figured out what I want to do up there quite yet. So we have that. And then the basket on my table is all of my crafty bits. Cross stitch, tape measures, stuff like that. Now, and I said I've been doing some purging. That corner right there is everything that's getting either given away or sold on my buy, sell, trade site. So all that's lined up because it's getting ready to leave my house. Um, my stuff that I use when I make videos, Little Wellington. Um, this is my bay window. It will stay like this until the weather starts getting warmer or cooler, I'm sorry. And then it all gets moved to my back door. I do need to wash the windows again on the outside. Every time I go to do it, it's raining. So I think today is the day. And then this is a gift that my sister-in-law had made for me for Christmas last year. I think it was last year. Um, that's my boys, Wellington and Alex. I think it's amazing. It's stained glass. And then you'll see some uh, prayer, some lights up in the window. They go on at dark. And I just love how it lights up my bay. I went to Marshall's yesterday and got this fun basket for $20. And it's big. It holds three blankets and a floor pillow. My little lamp. And this is a wall hanging I made. I think there's a video up on that. And those are five below rugs. Watch out, buddy. Here's my couch. And these pillow coverings are from Ikea. They're like $3.99 a piece. It's navy blue and gold for right now. They don't have the purple. Uh, my coffee table, which I inherited from my great grandparents. And then I just have this tray. The tray actually was a wall hanging, I think. I got this at Goodwill and I just spray painted it copper. I just love copper in the fall. Those pumpkins over here are from the Target Dollar Spot last year, but I think I saw them back this year. The navy blue pumpkin is a candle from Target, the gold candles from Target, and then that little green pumpkin is from the Dollar Tree. And then this, my take on a farmhouse beads, that's actually a necklace that I would probably not wear, but I love to bring the colors in. Um, that box over there with the extension cord that needs to be moved is where I put my firewood in the fall, winter, the cat bed, and my Patriots pillow over there. And this is my mantle for now. Um, the candlesticks are Dollar Tree. The gold candles here in the corner, or I'm sorry, the gold pumpkins were like 98 cents at Walmart last year. Dollar Tree gold candle. And then this... This is a Dollar Tree pumpkin. And then these were from the Target Dollar Spot several years ago. The cutting board, it's a cutting board in the background. 
that's usually on my coffee table, but I love bringing this wood feel in. Harvest Sign is from Target many moons ago. And then this was a Dollar Tree DIY I did. It's the Be Blessed, Be Thankful that I painted and antiqued. I just love bringing in that earthy feel. And then I repeated the trio. And then when I'll do it Halloween and I'll bring you back through is I'll add Halloween decor. And then when Halloween is over, I'll bring in more Thanksgiving greenery and stuff. So I kind of build upon it until I'm ready to decorate for Christmas. And that'll be the whole house. Um, just the cat beds over there, the cat chair. <laughs> right here they scratch on that i just leave it there because i'm hoping they'll scratch on that and not my new furniture uh, this was a gift from one of you you know who you are that sent me that gnome and then those are a couple books i need to read they're on my to read list and i left them out so i remember and then this is from the dollar tree and it is a pet costume i don't think i hauled it but this is just felt and then I had it put on the boys, and they hate it. But, you know, they had some costumes. Right, Dubs? Right, baby? You want a treat? I'll get you a treat. Give me a minute. And then we come over here, and that box needs to go to the basement. But I brought these three plants over here because, well, I don't have room everywhere else. I'm running out of room for plant life, pet food, pet feeder. Guys, this is like real life. This is how I live. Got some fun floor plants. I probably should put the hat away, but I'm loving the texture of it. And then this is my tiered tray for fall. You want a treat, baby? All right, here you go. He wants a treat and he's not gonna leave me alone until I give it to him. Here you go. Y'all think I have chickens, but I don't. It's on the floor, honey. Go ahead. Go ahead. There you go. I feed them like I feed chickens. <laughs> it's all their toys. Okay. So here's my fall tiered tray. Come Halloween time, I will switch some things around, add things to it. Ah, oh, I love it. I love this owl. It feels very boho to me. Couldn't tell you where I got it. Just some of the stuff I've had forever. And then these are just, this came in some potpourri. It doesn't smell anymore. These were a package of faux leather pumpkins that I got. I'll show you in the kitchen. And then just a myriad of greenery and different pumpkins. That was from the Dollar Tree. And those are my little cousins. And then this I just bought. I'm going to be doing a um, planner for the holiday. So for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And Target, no, Staples sent me a $25 reward to use. So I went and bought, this is from Martha Stewart. It's the disc system, just like my Happy Planner, just a different size. Pricey, I will tell you. This little notebook was $15, but I got it for free. And then I got two refills of just some lined paper and my clipboard. So that'll be a fun little project. Over here, I think you saw my DIY, or I did a DIY on the pumpkins. The fresh, from fresh autumn harvest sign is copper. And I got that at Kirkland's. And I believe Auntie Cuckoo saw one at Hobby Lobby. So it'll be less expensive at Hobby Lobby. Then my other pumpkin that I painted, I'm back here. This brown, amber, vase was from the target dollar spot this year three dollars and then that big old vase i got at hobby lobby for 90 percent off it was two dollars and 99 cents and then this is just dollar store greenery and i think i got that greenery a couple years ago at like joanne or something i'm just all about stuff in the greenery so this is sits on top of my little pantry i washed my windows and blinds you should see that right right and then we're coming into my kitchen and I grab my little fall towels. I keep candles burning all the time. And this is just nothing really going on in here quite yet. Over here is my coffee bar. Um, so this metal tray is from the dollar spot at Target a couple years ago. 
And then underneath it is the Lazy Susan that they had last season. And I just sit this on top. Sorry, it's heavy. So I can spin around my coffee bar, which I'm getting some new containers for that soon. Tea kettle, life. My coffee maker. We're having some roast pork. I'm gonna make a zucchini gratin soon. And that back there is the next perch. All the spoons and spatulas and all of that. Now, I do have in this corner, this is a rose gold basket. I think I got at Target and I believe all those pumpkins came from Target, but several seasons ago. And then my shelving unit. So far, this is how it looks. <laughs> I buy a lot of stuff at Target, apparently. The copper water kettle pitcher was from Target. Oh, up here, I just have water bottles and stuff. Um, one of you lovely folks sent me the gnomes. That's a big old maple leaf up there. The squirrel is actually a salt and pepper shaker from Target, or no, from the Dollar Tree. And then those copper pine cone and acorns are from the Dollar Tree. And the green pumpkin is a candy dish and that is from Target. Down here, this sign I made and there is a video of it. And it's made out of yellow beer bottle caps and green beer bottle caps and some rope. And I made that and my little gnome. And then this is a gumball machine from the Target dollar spot. I just put some ribbon, just tied it around and I filled it with the little, um, leather pretend leather pumpkins faux leather pumpkins and that's just a little gumball machine in my kitchen and that's where I hang my aprons and my trash can so that's pretty much my oh and my my highland cow guys cannot forget the highland coo thank you for whom sent that to me so that's it for my main living area I will take you upstairs to my second bedroom, which is my office. All right, guys, we're going into my craft room office, which is still a work in progress, but I made headway. All right, so there's the black cat, Alex, again. Hi, buddy. <laughs> this is my little um, rig that I made to video from overhead cords, of course. And the boy's bed up here, when I open that window, they are so happy. On the floor over here is Christmas and fall presents that I'm gonna be, not presents, fall um, DIYs. Same thing under here, that's a DIY I have. What I like to do, and that's Christmas right there, is I take these from the Dollar Tree and like over here, I know that this is a project I wanna work on. So I put the materials in it that I think I'm gonna use. And when I have everything and I'm ready to whirl, then I go and take care of it. Uh, these are for the giveaway. And this is a pr present I'm mailing to somebody. These are just some sewing stuff. So this is really where the magic happens. I put, <laughs> I have these bowls that are on the, the buy, sell, trade site. Somebody had asked to see the, um, uh, what is that? The straw man scarecrow. And then this is my stash. <laughs> and all of the, in there is all kinds of crafting material. So this is, I mean, it's kind of organized chaos. You know, I do craft in here on the regular. And then this cart is all of my crafting supplies. So, and I can do a whole cart tour. I have to go through this still. This has not been clean. But I have my paint brushes, I have tools, I have my silicone pointers, rotary cutters, glue. Down there we have more glue, rubber bands, markers. So this whole cart needs an overhaul before I start doing Christmas and fall crafting. At the bottom are my glue guns, sanding materials, all kinds of stuff. And then my dining room chair that I have up here. See, he loves his little spot. And then this is where I work. Oh, my trash bag's still in here. So over here is my work setup. My laptop for work, my monitor, keyboard. I listen to music or whatever on my iPad. 
my laptop for myself is over here. So when I wanna do personal work, I shut down my work laptop, move everything out of my way, and then I have my own keyboard, my work chair, and then that's a bag, my work bag that I transport back and forth. All right, over here, <laughs> this is more crafty stuff. So up here I've got some yarn and those are antique knitting needles and that's my mama up there and my mom and my uncle, her brother, right before they both passed away. And then in here, this is a hat that I knitted and entered into the Ohio State Fair. I don't think I placed on that. Yeah, I don't think I placed for that. Um, my paint, oh, and that's a cross stitch I did in the back. And just some paint and glitter and twine and stuff, more yarn, washi on my books. And those are craft books. Scrapbooking paper. Behind there in the box is a lot of essential oil. These are my notebooks that I kept and notepads, some pens. I'm not even sure what's over there. And then the bottom two rows is mostly yarn. Like my expensive yarn, it keeps it safe in there. And then over here, we just have this dresser set up. My On the floor there is all my Cricut vinyl. And then in these little containers here are rocks and beads and wood just easy access you know these are different shaped beads these are wooden cut pieces of wood different types of rocks that i use um well here we are hey that's my mirror and the sink this is a, a bedroom over here is a bathroom it's where i keep the kitty litter and then in this closet, I, it doesn't look it, but guys, I purged like nobody's business in this room. And the dresser is off fabric, and that's going to be another upcoming project. Some plastic stuff. I mean, I just, I have everything situated. Again, how I utilize it. I need to put my Ohio State football out. And then in here I have like gift wrap and stuff. And then my records over there. And then my floor mats and just stuff. So that is, this is my craft room. Oh, over here, I'm sorry. A fan because it's hot up here. But there's my Cricut, my sewing machine. And this one I think is my laminator this is knitting supplies and that's plugs these are all stickers that's all scrapbook paper my sewing kit and then over here is a little bit of ribbon so that's it this is my workspace that I try to keep the mess up here and uh, work mess and craft mess and there's my planner I use every day so yeah, I hope you enjoyed a quick tour of my house as I'm setting up for autumn. Have a good one.